SpaceX has stunned the world once again, leaving us all in awe as their super heavy booster was caught mid-air with pinpoint precision, and the Starship spacecraft touched down like a feather. This incredible feat wasn't just a lucky break, it's the result of SpaceX's groundbreaking innovations in launch infrastructure. But here's where it gets even more fascinating. What happened to the mighty booster and the launch tower after this historic moment? Today we're pulling back the curtain on the aftermath, we're going to uncover the state of the booster, dive into some fresh revelations from Elon Musk himself, and explore how SpaceX has tackled the immense challenges faced by their launch platform, Stage Zero. Imagine the raw power of 33 Raptor engines, each pushing out half a million pounds of thrust, all testing the limits of this launch system. The ground beneath the pad was hammered by forces beyond comprehension in earlier tests. But this time, did it hold up? Let's find out how far SpaceX has come in perfecting their launch technology and what this means for the future of space travel. But Flight 5 has proven that SpaceX has learned, adapted, and conquered these issues. After years of modifications and upgrades, SpaceX has made substantial progress in strengthening Stage Zero, positioning it as a reliable platform for future rapid launches. SpaceX's entire Starship program hinges on the idea of rapid reusability meaning the launch infrastructure has to endure repeated launches and landings without significant downtime. In the past, that goal seemed almost too ambitious. The launch pad faced setbacks, including damage from the extreme heat and pressure during liftoff. One of the most visible consequences was the formation of a crater beneath the pad, where the Raptor engines had effectively blasted away the foundation. Repairs were costly and caused delays, but SpaceX responded with a game-changing innovation, the Water Deluge System. This Water Deluge System is an engineering marvel. It floods the pad with water during liftoff, cooling the superheated gases and absorbing the shockwaves generated by the Raptor engines. By damping the intense heat and vibrations, the Deluge System prevents the kind of destruction we saw in earlier tests. And in Flight 5, it worked flawlessly. Not only did it cool the launch pad, but it also reduced the noise and vibrations that could have otherwise caused long-term damage. The fact that the pad emerged from Flight 5 with minimal wear and tear is a clear sign SpaceX is on the right track. The goal? A future where launches happen frequently, without the need for extensive repairs or delays. Imagine a world where rockets can be launched multiple times in a single day, revolutionizing the entire space industry. This would drastically cut costs and increase the frequency of missions. SpaceX is making that future a reality. But while the improvements to Stage Zero were impressive, the true star of the show during Flight 5 was the Mechazilla system. This towering structure attached to the launch tower features massive chopstick arms designed to catch the super heavy booster after it separates from Starship. The concept is simple yet revolutionary. Instead of letting the booster land on the ground or in the ocean, it's caught mid-air by Mechazilla, secured immediately onto the orbital launch mount, refueled, and prepared for its next mission. In Flight 5, Mechazilla performed beyond expectations. The booster executed a controlled hover maneuver guided by its Raptor engines before being gently captured by the chopstick arms. Keep in mind we're talking about a booster that, when fully loaded, weighs over 3 million kilograms. Catching this massive structure mid-air is no small feat. This mid-air catch is critical for SpaceX's long-term vision of rapid reusability. By catching the booster before it touches the ground, SpaceX eliminates the need for complex landing systems and time-consuming refurbishments. In theory, this means a booster could be caught, refueled, and launched again within hours, drastically reducing costs and increasing launch frequency. However, the catch wasn't without its challenges. As the booster performed its hover maneuver, a fire broke out in the engine bay, engulfing the lower portion of the rocket in flames. While alarming, the fire was not caused by an engine failure. The Raptor engines involved in the descent continued to operate normally. 
but the intense heat did cause some damage to the outer surface of the booster, scorching the paint and warping the nozzles of the outer engines. Elon Musk himself acknowledged this in a recent post, noting that Booster 12's engine bay was almost cooking. Despite the fire, the booster remained structurally sound. There were no major issues, but this fire is something SpaceX will undoubtedly address as they refine the system. One more notable point. During the catch, the sheer weight of the booster caused the chopstick arms to bend slightly. Although the flex was within acceptable limits, about 15 centimeters, it's a reminder of the immense forces at play here. To absorb some of that shock, SpaceX has equipped the inside of the arms with bumper pads, and these worked effectively to prevent any significant damage. Each test flight brings new challenges, but it also brings valuable data that helps SpaceX improve and optimize its systems. The success of the mid-air catch, despite these minor issues, is a major leap forward for the company's vision of reusable rockets. At the heart of all this are SpaceX's Raptor engines. These engines are among the most powerful ever built, capable of generating immense thrust while maintaining impressive efficiency. In Flight 5, they performed exceptionally well, delivering the booster and Starship to orbit with precision. However, the flight also revealed areas for improvement. The intense heat from the engines during the hover maneuver caused some damage to the booster's outer surface, warping engine nozzles and scorching parts of the rocket. Elon Musk has downplayed these issues, explaining that they're minor and can be repaired before the next flight. Still, each flight provides critical data that will help SpaceX fine-tune their Raptor engines even further. These engines are crucial to the future of space exploration. The successful catch of the booster, combined with the resilience of Stage Zero, shows that SpaceX is well on its way to developing a fully reusable launch system. The next major milestone? Orbital refueling. This technology will allow Starship to refuel in space, enabling long-duration missions to the Moon, Mars, and beyond. Don't forget to hit that like button, smash subscribe for more jaw-dropping space updates, and join us as we embark on a cosmic journey like never before.